Safe Living Technologies offers a wide variety of shielding and mitigation products. With an ever-increasing amount of RF and EMF exposure in our environment, often outside of our control, it is important to have a good knowledge of shielding material options. Safe Living Technologies has a long history of distributing EMF and RF protection materials, measurement devices, and services since the company's earliest years. Since then, we have helped to prove that EMF and RF shielding paint can be a part of an effective solution and can help to lower your exposure to these types of radiation from nearby sources. The Safe and Sound RF Eco Paint is non-toxic, using a purely acrylic binder. It is classified as a zero VOC paint. When this paint is applied, it has a very faint smell, which dissipates within 24 to 48 hours. It is important to note that the Safe and Sound RF Eco Paint is designed to block radio frequencies and low frequency AC electric fields, although it does not block AC magnetic fields. A room painted with Safe and Sound RF Eco Paint effectively creates what's known as a Faraday cage, in which very little RF can penetrate. This is significant and will allow you to shield areas that are or have become high RF zones from a nearby cell antenna or 5G installation. Or, if you live in an apartment building, the Safe and Sound RF Eco Paint can provide excellent shielding from your neighbor's wireless devices and or a growing number of cell antennas on your roof. Your sleeping area is considered a critical place to have as little radiation as possible, and this should be your first and primary focus. Once completed, you can expand to other areas of your living space as needed. Before starting a Safe and Sound RF Eco Paint project, it is important to measure the current levels of microwave radiation in your home. This will give you an accurate assessment of the before and after values. To determine how much paint you will need to purchase for optimal shielding, the coverage of the Safe and Sound RF Eco Paint is 172 to 344 square feet per gallon. The density of your application will depend on the amount of shielding you wish to achieve. Overall, as the density of your application increases, so will the shielding effectiveness. For porous surfaces, it is recommended to apply a layer of latex primer first. If applying safe and sound RF Eco Paint over oil paint, you can prepare the surface by lightly sanding it with sandpaper, cleaning, and applying a bonding primer before applying the shielding paint. Prepare edges with painter's tape if desired. Fill, sand, and smooth any holes of rough surfaces as usual. Remove baseboards and light switch covers, but do not allow the paint to contact the metal light switch or outlet box housing. Stay 2 centimeters away from any exposed metal. Next, apply a continuous run of the GSX conductive tape horizontally across all of the walls that you plan to paint. The height of the tape doesn't matter but you may choose to keep it near or under the baseboards to hide the slight ridge that this conductive tape may create. If you're painting the ceiling, you will need to extend a vertical strip of the GSX conductive tape from the horizontal strip up onto the ceiling. The tape should extend onto the ceiling two to three feet or one meter. This paint must be mixed thoroughly before all applications. For a one gallon bin, we recommend a 2 and 3 8 by 13 inch mixing attachment for a drill or smaller. Now, you're ready to apply the Safe and Sound RF Eco Paint. Use a high quality paint roller with a pile height of 10 to 15 millimeters. Ensure that there are no colored areas showing and that the wall looks uniformly black. Maximum shielding capacity of this paint is not reached until it is dry. This can take between 24 and 48 hours, depending on your environment. Next, choose a convenient location to mount the grounding plate. For best results, we recommend mounting the plate where the horizontal and vertical pieces of the grounding tape intersect. Apply a second coat of Safe and Sound RF Eco Paint to the small area where the grounding plate will sit. Once the paint is dry, drill 6 millimeters or 15 64ths of an inch holes to mount the grounding plate. Be sure that there are no cables behind the location that you are drilling. Use the included hardware as needed to properly anchor the plate to the wall. To have the RF Eco Paint and grounding plate bonded to the building's equipment ground, please contact a licensed electrician in order to comply with local electrical codes. 
You can also consult a local EMF specialist for other options, although the ground connection itself is to be completed and verified by the electrician. Once the pane is complete and grounded, you can verify the electrical conductivity of your safe and sound RF eco paint on areas with a digital multimeter. Remeasure the RF in the same locations prior to painting and compare the results to confirm how much shielding was gained. Note that windows often allow a great deal of radiation to pass through into your home. Further shielding from these openings or leaks can be solved with our Signal Protect window film and or shielding fabric discussed in our other videos. Applying safe and sound RF eco paint on exterior surfaces involves some different techniques. Aside from similar surface preparations and masking tape as needed, the use of the grounding tape is often impossible on rough surfaces. Instead, an additive such as the AF3 is mixed in with the safe and sound RF eco paint to make it more conductive and eliminate the need for grounding tape. Be sure to mix the paint thoroughly before and after adding in the AF3 additive. Once again, plan for covering 172 to 344 square feet per gallon. The density of your application will depend on the amount of shielding you wish to achieve. As before, choose a convenient location for the outdoor grounding plate GF4. It is very important that the surface is smooth. If needed, make a smooth location prior to painting by using a fine filler or motor and sanding carefully. And as before, Apply a second coat of the Safe and Sound RF Eco Paint to the area of the grounding plate. After the grounding plate is mounted and the cover plate is installed, you will need to seal this area with the waterproof glue as shown. Please discuss grounding options with your EMF specialist and a locally licensed electrician. The ground connection itself is to be completed and verified by the electrician. As mentioned before with indoor painting, Remeasure the RF inside at the same locations prior to painting and compare the results to confirm how much shielding was gained. Now that you have a completely shielded room or living space, your indoor RF exposure can remain more predictable regardless of external changes. For more detailed information about high frequency shielding fabrics, window films, bed canopies, and general EMF and RF mitigation, Please visit our website at www.safelivingtechnologies.com.